Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys. In this video, I'm going to take you through how PowerProtect Data Manager handles extended retention. Now this has changed in Data Manager 19.8. In versions prior to that, keeping some backups longer was referred to as backup promotion. Now in Data Manager 19.8, it's referred to as extended retention and handled a little differently. The great thing is that gives you more control more options, including a new yearly retention model and a great new configuration system. With yearly extended retention added, there's now three options, each with different use cases. Use the weekly option if you want to keep one copy a week for a longer period of time, such as, say, keeping your non-production backups for two weeks, but keeping an extra couple of weeklies for safe measure. Use the monthly option if you want to keep a monthly backup for a longer period of time, such as keeping your monthlies for seven years, or maybe just your non-production monthlies for a year. The new yearly option lets you take longer retention backups even less frequently than monthly, such as keeping one backup per year for seven years, or if you're a country like Australia with a different end of financial and end of calendar year, keeping both of those backups for seven years. So let's dive into Data Manager now and have a look at these options and add another extended retention option to an existing policy. I'll expand protection and go to protection policies, then edit an existing policy so we can have a closer look at this new configuration option. Here's my protection policy. There's a primary and replicated copy and an extended retention option. I'll click edit on the objectives to drill into the policy, then edit the extended retention option to see how that's configured. This is my current extended retention option. Every month on the last day of the month, I extend a primary copy and retain that copy for an extra two months. I'll flip through the different extended retention options to let you see how their configuration differs. First, let's check out the weekly option. For weekly extended retention, I choose which day of the week I want to extend the retention for and select the time frame I want to extend it. The time frame, which is currently on screen showing two months, can be set in days, weeks, months or years. You've already seen the monthly extended retention option, so let's look at the yearly option. In this case, I can choose whether to extend a copy generated on a specific date of a specific month, including a last day option so you never have to worry about month lengths, or I can choose to extend a backup based on a specific occurrence of a day within a month, such as the first Monday of August. I'll cancel now to not make any changes to this extended retention option and then add a new configuration for yearly extended retention. So I click extend retention to add another element, then add to set that up. So for this configuration element, I'll extend the retention of the backup taken on the 1st of August each year for an extra six months. Now in real life, you'd probably do it for longer than that, but in my lab, that's more than enough. I'll click save when I'm done to commit the changes, then because I don't want to adjust any other configuration for the policy, I'll click through the rest of the configuration wizard until I can click finish. Clicking view details takes me through to the jobs dashboard where I can see the policy configuration changes running and a new data manager disaster recovery backup being taken. That's the new PowerProtect data manager extended retention option. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the blog for more details.